Hi, this is PC Roger, and I've got a new post on my blog, 10 Reasons Not to Upgrade to Windows 10, or at least not yet. Windows 10 is making its debut here in a couple of days. There are some early adopters that already have it. You may or may not be getting a little pop-up on your uh, in your system tray offering it to you. Anyone, Basically, anyone can get it for one year from now or one year from July 29th for free. So the question is, should I upgrade to Windows 10 or should I not? Now, this is an easier decision for Windows 7 users than Windows 8. And if you're an XP user, I'm probably going to say, forget it. Your hardware probably won't uh, cut it. But uh, there is a link in here. You can, you can check that. So let's take a look at my 10 reasons. Okay, first of all, number one, upgrading Windows 10 could break your system. Now, anytime that, you know, this isn't a cut against Windows 10 or against Windows. Anytime you make any kind of major changes, you know, something can happen. Something, maybe the power goes out in the middle of it. Who knows? Maybe they, maybe there's one little glitch that only affects your particular combination of hardware. And it, just, it just hasn't been found yet, but it could break your system. Now, I use the uh, definition here of a pioneer as someone with arrows in their back. So, you know, the question is people who are early adopters, you know, we call them beta testers until it's released. But even once it's released, there's always a question of, is it ready for prime time? And we'll get, we'll get to that here a little bit. But uh, you're, you're going to be a pioneer if you are one of the first people to upgrade to Windows 10. And that may not be the best thing. Now, number two here is a good reason not to upgrade is because you don't have good backups. Now, does that mean that Windows 10 is going to blow away the data on your system? No, not at all. But either A, it could, because I believe you have the choice of selecting a clean install, which would delete the data. And number two, uh, again, anything can happen. You're doing a, There's a lot of activity on your drive during a major upgrade like this, and the, maybe the hard drive just fails you know, because of all that additional activity. So uh, my, my suggestion is, is that you probably don't have good backups, and, and, I, and I challenge you to prove me wrong and, and get those good backups. Most people don't, and I use uh, my own 20 years of experience of when I've done, done uh, migrations for people from old PCs to new P PCs, and here's what it usually goes like. I say, okay, please make a list of what you need moved to the new PC. These are, oh, not much. I, you know, just this, this, oh, oh, yeah, this. Well, and then I say, okay, fine, it's all there. Check it out. Well, behold, a couple days later, maybe a month later, Oh, oh yeah, where's my blank? So, I mean, that just invariably happens. So the question is, do you have good backups? Do you know what's important on your machine? And do you have, do you have more than one backup of that? Uh, reason number three, and Windows 10 automatic updates, they're automatic and mandatory. Now, this is already providing some frustration for some people, according to Forbes magazine, especially with NVIDIA cards. Uh, people uh, roll back the, the automatic update that's causing the problem. And guess what? Windows 10 puts it right back again. That is not cool. That is not good. People are really frustrated. But, you know, they're a pioneer. So they shouldn't expect anything other than that. So here we moving on. Uh, number four is, hey, just, just kind of chill out. You got one year to get it. Do you really, you know, want to, uh, to again, be this early adopter, this pioneer when History tells us that any Windows version straight out the box is not what you want. We always used to say, wait for Service Pack 1 minimum. Uh, with XP, golly, I think it was Service Pack 2 before we really got comfortable with it, uh, if, I'm, if I'm, my memory serves me. With Windows 7, uh, there were a bunch of glitches at first. With Windows 8, right away, you know, they, there was this clamor for Windows 8.1, and it finally came out and fixed some problems. So do you really think they've got it fixed in, in Windows 10 to where we don't need that? Hmm. Uh, juries... Uh, uh, I think already coming in with the vote that, that no, that's not the case. We still need to wait for the .1 or SP1 or whatever they want to call it. So the next one is uh, you already have Windows 7 and not Windows 8. Well, let's face it. Windows 10 is primarily a fix for the totally botched Windows 8. So if you have Windows 7 and, and it's solid for you, do you do you really want to you know risk that and migrate to Windows 10 when you know people who are migrating uh, are having some problems? And you could have problems. Not saying you will, but you certainly could. So if it works, don't fix it. You know, I've got seven way to go. Now, if you are using Windows 8 and, and suffering through it, maybe you need to check out this video that shows how to make Windows 8 more like Windows 7. It's one of my videos. It's, it's been rated pretty well. So if you got Windows 8 and you really don't like this that tiles and Metro crap, uh, watch that video. Uh, link's right here. And I've got, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in, the, uh, in this video too so you can click on it and go see that other, that other video. Now, if you have older hardware, number six is, you know, what we've always said is what Intel giveth, Microsoft taketh away. And if you have older hardware, you want to check this Windows 10 specification page and make sure you're not at the low end of it either because Windows likes processor. It really loves RAM. And if you don't have an SSD, a solid state drive, you uh, uh, better have a fast hard drive. 
but uh, I've got some videos on upgrading to SSD drives as well on my YouTube channel. Might want to check those out. Number seven, peripherals. Oh boy, you know, in the past there's always been a scanner, a plotter, some of these expensive items that uh, businesses would have that just you, you couldn't get a driver for if you upgraded. Now, maybe you don't have that, but uh, maybe it's even a printer. Maybe it's a webcam. I, I had this Logitech webcam. I could not believe it was not that old. Windows 7 came out and they said, oh, we're not going to support Windows 7. And so I've got a couple of, uh, you know, practically unused, you, you're really new Logitech webcams that great specs and work great on XP and it won't work on Windows 7. Inexcusable, unconscionable, but Logitech wants you to buy new hardware. So they just want your money. Uh, some of the other stuff, maybe it's an out of date. Maybe it's not even a, a, a scanner or plotter. Maybe the manufacturer's not even around anymore. So check that out if something is important to you. Number eight here is you love those desktop gadgets. Well, they're gone. They were never really secure. That was one of the problems with. They were easy to take advantage of a vulnerability. So uh, in the interest of security, they were, they were taken away. And those will be automatically deleted if you upgrade to Windows 10. I don't use them anymore, but uh, you know they're kind of a novelty. They are, are kind of cute at times. So if you like them, that could be a consideration. Reason number nine, Windows Media Center. Yeah, hardly anybody probably uses it, but if you do, it's gone in 10. And uh, number 10, if, if you use OneDrive, I don't, but if you use OneDrive, the placeholders are not yet supported. And here again, this is just another reason to wait for that. Service Pack 1, this dot one, whatever the fixed version is called, and uh, they say by the end of the year they'll have OneDrive placeholders. Maybe by the end of the year they'll have the dot one or whatever it takes to make uh, Windows 10 solid. So there you have it. I've tried to make this as short as I could. Uh, 10 reasons uh, not to upgrade to Windows 10, at least not yet. Am I saying don't ever upgrade? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying just, you know, if you're an early adopter, if you're a pioneer, expect some problems. You know, there's there's no perks to being an early adopter other than maybe an ego ride. And uh, if uh, the person that you're showing off to has uh, seen this video or read my blog post, they might wonder if maybe you're being an unwise pioneer. So that's it. Links below, uh, links in the, in the video here itself. Check some other things out. I uh, hope this has helped. Give us a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.